In North Georgia, the Murray County School System rolled out their reopening plan this week in their effort to ensure students and staff can stay safe as they return to classrooms. They're looking at three different options. Our Mary Frances Hoots joins us live in the studio with information for parents. Mary Frances, when and how do they head back to school? Well, Greg, the start date is September 9th, but like you said, they have three different options that they're rolling out, the traditional start, hybrid, and distance learning. And as of now, they plan to operate in the traditional Additional format, of course, with extra safety guidelines, but at any point, a parent can choose to have their child do online only. Situations may change during the school year. It could, it could go uh, back and forth from model to model. The director of human resources, Mike Tuck, thinks learning from the classroom is important to the development of students. We certainly uh, uh, believe that um, it's in the best interest of the student to, to be face to face with in the classroom for educational, social, emotional. And they believe they can make that happen safely. Families and faculty agree. Seems to be overwhelming that, 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 that parents and students, staff won't come back. Survey data reveals that 80% want to learn in the classroom in the fall. 20% say they would feel safer doing distance learning. While that is always an option for students, if cases rise enough, online only will be required. And the school system is ready for that. So every student will will be uh, have their own Chromebook. And for those without internet. We're equipping uh, school buses with, uh, um, with the ability to, to, to roam and provide Wi-Fi. In the hybrid system, grades 9 through 12 would follow the distance learning plan. Here's what everyone else would do. Pre-K through eighth graders would alternate days, some going Mondays, Wednesdays, and then doing remote on the days they're not there, and others going Tuesdays and Thursdays. If there is a confirmed case at a school, they will rely on the local health department agency to decide the next steps. To close down a classroom or close down a school or close down the entire school system. Again, students go back to school on September 8th. Faculty will be required to wear a mask with certain exemptions depending on where they are in the building, and students are recommended to wear them, but it will not be required. Live in the studio, Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.